Hello. Hello, beautiful people. Love you so much. Okay, uh, this is part two because, um, you know, my battery died on my laptop. <laughs> Another message? Uh, yeah. Uh, lights out. CME, EMP, whatever. You know, everything's going to go dark. But hey, what I was saying is, I, before I woke up this morning, I heard horses. I heard one horse in particular just snorting and grunting, and you could tell he was mad and angry, you know, frustrated, like a horse that just, you know, he's just doing that kind of thing, right? And it was pitch black, um, which I guess, hey, you know, pitch black, my battery died and everything went black. Um, you know, and I just got a, a glimpse. Now, trying to figure this out. Hey, it's pitch black, but I saw a horse, an outline, a head, and his mane. Uh, the hair on his, on his mane was really shiny, and it kind of sh shined a little bit, and I could see his outline. Why I could see it, I don't know. God showed it to me, you know. If it was pitch black, I wouldn't be able to see anything, you know. But I saw this, and, I was, and it stuck with me the whole day. I'm like, man, that horse was just so intense, you know. Um, in the anger and the frustration, and uh, it's kind of stuck with me. And it made me think of the third seal. So, I think we're getting close to the third seal, which is hyperinflation, economic collapse, you know, uh, money's not going to be worth anything, or even, like, unavailable. So, <clears throat> I wanted to follow up and finish this. You know, um, that we're getting close. It's that close. Uh, now, doors, keys, blackness, and there's a certain submerged in water, marine life, you read between the lines, they're called And who's the Greek god of the water, the sea, um, Poseidon, right? They have these little um, project projectiles that go under in the marine water um, to hit certain things, right? Am I speaking cryptic? Yes. Do I have to? I don't know. You know, nobody wants to hear the truth. And those that do, well, search it out. We, God gives us nuggets, and we each get a little nugget, and um, like a small little jewel, right? And the body of Christ is many parts, and they have many gifts. Uh, there's a hand, there's an eye, there's a foot. You know, all are necessary for forward movement and to be fruitful. And maybe one person gets a little little pebble, hint, whatever, you know, uh, a clue like number nine. Okay. Now, there's 12, and you can look it up, a line down the middle, um, in the midst. Okay. You draw a line down the middle. And then 9 o'clock, well, i got to do it this way, I guess. 9 o'clock is at a 45-degree angle. Um, <clears throat> see if I can show you this one real quickly. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. There we go. So you can see 9 is at a 45-degree angle from 12. Or six, right? Um, so, a friend of mine had a dream of a circle, right? A line down the middle and a nine o'clock. That's a 45 degree angle. Four, five, nine. Mm hmm. Four plus five, nine. Nine minus five is four. Nine minus four is five. Okay, but it ends up being a 90 degree angle from 12 o'clock. <clears throat> There's going to be 
April 27th, which is another key number he gave me. He said, Neil, before the 27th. I, or I thought it maybe it was 2-7. I wasn't sure, right? Now I'm seeing it's like there's an alignment of the stars and the planets, or the planets and the moon and the sun uh, in a straight line on the 27th of April, or 4 to 7. <clears throat> Let's look at that. You got 4, right? 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. And 2 and 7. 7, 7, 7. Okay. <clears throat> What's 7 plus 2? 7, 8, 9. 9, 7. Yeah, 7. I, I'm feeling good, whatever. Okay. 7 plus 2 is 9. Okay. So it's 4, which is April, the fourth month, on the Gregorian calendar. And before 27. Also, you can see it as a 4 and a 9. Now, <clears throat> uh, the, the months on the Gregorian calendar are off by two months because Sep is 7. That's September. But we say it's the ninth month. It's off by two, right? Ock, which is October, um, is eight, right? So you can go through the calendar. It's like Nov is nine, and, and Deca, or Dec, December, is ten. Well, then we're off by two. Then April is not the fourth month. It's the second month, two to seven. So... What is 9 minus 2? 7. Right. Okay. So, what is 227? Uh, that was, I believe, a TV show in the 60s. Uh, room 227? Maybe that was 223. I don't remember. But anyways, um, I think there's a, it's a pointer, it's a marker, it's something going on on the 27th. I mean, planets all lining up like that. And the sun and the moon as well? Mmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. In a certain constellation that looks like a lightning bolt, or is called the lightning bolt? Just, yeah. We'll see. So, um, what's the main message of this? Besides, um, the monetary system is, or, and the economy is doing something wacky? Don't be left out in the cold. Don't be left behind. Don't let the door shut with you on the outside. Do everything you can. And what does that mean? Humble your heart. Repent of every evil thing you did. Turn, turn. Change your mind and turn. From what you're doing now in your life that's not glorifying God, that's not His will, but yours, no. Stop. Don't. Do His will. Okay? Surrender. Surrender your will and let his be done. That's what Jesus said in the Garden of Gethsemane. Not my will, but your will will be done. Right? It's probably one of the, the hardest um, things to repent from, being your own God, uh, being in charge of your life, you know, because you said there, I will do this. I'm going to do this. It starts with I. Where the humble heart says, God, what do you want? What will make you happy? How can I bear fruit to give you glory and honor? Don't honor me. Because when you're honoring yourself, that's called pride. God hates pride. He is the way to the Father. He is the truth. No lies. Right? And He is life. The wages of sin is death. If you keep sinning, you're going to die. Not just physically, but spiritually. Right? But the gift of God <clears throat> is eternal life through His Son. He will grant you to live forever with Him. If you'll accept it by faith. Your faith? Oh, no, no. You don't get any credit on this. It's the faith that he gives you. 
well, I don't have a lot of faith and I don't believe. Then ask him. He'll give it to you freely, right? All glory goes to him. He's not going to share his glory and his honor in that sense, right? So, I hope you learn something from this lesson because I sure did. Uh, love you guys. I can't wait to see you in the next video because that means he's going to show me another little pebble, another little nugget, right? Something special that I get to to share, right? You know, it's like, um, it's a good thing because then he's using me and I'm bearing fruit because I hope that somebody hears what he's telling me, you know, and makes a difference in your life. Love you guys. Can't wait to see you up there or in the next video.